install this headrail, you've got to make sure that the headrail is in the sort of, I guess you might call it the counterintuitive position of straight up and down, so that the C, the open part of the headrail is to the back. And then you simply find the lips on the edges of the brackets. This one here beautifully installed on an old Eclipse roller shape table I bought from Eclipse before they became Astra. And you just take the front edge of the of the rail, push it into that bracket. You want to make sure that the the controls are as close to the end of the bracket as possible so that you get the least deflection when you're operating a cord lift system. Then simply turn and the headrail will clip directly into that bracket so that it won't come out no matter how hard I pull. To raise the shade you're simply going to take the lift cord on the left hand side or right hand side in this case, grab them from the bottom and lift the shade up. You can see that the way it operates as I keep raising the shade, the moment I stop the shade stops. There's no fallback in the cord lock. And then the way that you lower the shade, let me raise it up a little bit further, is using what we call a release tassel, although it doesn't much look like a tassel as uh, we would understand it. Um, and this release tassel is attached to this cord, this cord right here. This cord goes up into the headrail and unlocks the cord lock inside that headrail. So that when I pull down on that, it pulls down on this cord and these other cords pass through the body of the tassel. So the pressure of my thumb and forefinger control the speed at which these cords inside go through the release tassel and controls the speed of the descent. So you'll see that when I pull straight down, you see uh, my, my hand moves about a half inch, the lock is now open, but because I have a reasonable amount of pressure between my thumb and forefinger here, the shade won't drop, but the moment I start letting up on that, the shade will begin to lower. Just like that. And then I let go, and that's how the shade operates. The advantage of that is that you can more easily recess mount the shade on such a small headrail without any valance and still control the raising and lowering of the shade from, um, from the, excuse the compressor, from the inside mount deduction. So as I pull straight down here, that's what that scores the shade. I don't have to worry about moving to 45 degrees in front or behind of the shade, not like the cord lock from Faber, made by that other German company, Ford Faber, but uh, where you have, to, you have to pull the cord lock out away from the shade and lock it in the, in the front position. So you call that a vertical travel distance, unlike all the cord locks we're used to, which are 45 degrees to the left or right. This cord lock works purely straight up and down, Anywhere I stop the cord, no fallback. Particularly handy on top down bottom up shades because you don't get any gap between the middle rail and the top rail. And then when I want to release it, you pull it up a little bit higher. When I want to release it, and you pull straight down here, and the uh, shade completely lowers. As I mentioned, once the brackets are located on the headrail, there's no amount of pulling that can take that bracket out of the headrail. In order to take the shade off, you raise the shade all the way up and then look for what I would call these. So you look for the spring clip on the back of the bracket, which is right there. You push up on that, usually with a screwdriver. In this case, I'm going to use my thumb. Push it up into a lock position, which is about a quarter inch movement vertically in the up direction. And then when I go to remove the head drill now, I simply tilt it forward and the friction releases the head rail and I can take it out. The advantage of that, of course, is that if you have multiple brackets, one person can, can go along the whole length of the shade and push the springs up on two or three or four brackets without the headrail coming down. And only when the installer grabs the headrail and tilts it 
does the bracket come out? Just like I showed you once we release the spring on the bottom of the bracket. So it's a spring lock bracket, which is quite unique and requires only about a half inch inside mount to, to inside mount the bracket, or uh, it can be outside mounted as you see here, screws going in this direction. And we also have extension brackets for those to project them out from, a, from an outside.